In this video, we're going to look at five tips that you should consider to find the best hotel WordPress theme on the market. Hi, my name is Joshua and I help hospitality providers and small business owners find the best tools and tips to strive on the internet. Now, there's a lot of great themes out there that could really help your website stand out from among the competitors on the market. But how do you know which one to choose or which one is right for you? Will it fit your brand? What are the questions you should be asking? So I want to break down some key consideration that you should be asking so you could find out what is best for your business. I will also share my top five recommended hotel themes that would most likely fit almost any hotel website. Let's get started with the recommendations. So in a summary, these are the five tips we want to consider. What are the features included? Is it mobile responsive? Does it come with demo content? Are you checking the reviews? Is it user friendly? Let's start with the first one. The first thing we want to consider is what features are included in the theme. What are your goals for the website? I mean, that's the first question you want to start with. Understanding your goals will determine what features you need to have included in the website. So you may want to ask the question, what is your brand and what's the feel that you want the website to capture? Based on that, you'll get an understanding of what the theme should be able to do and represent. In addition, what features are included out of the box? Such as, does it come with an availability calendar that was going to be on the home page? Does it have a photo gallery feature? It does it have a restaurant menu. What about a blog module that's already come suited. The last thing you want to do is to get a theme and then you have to go get a lot of third-party software to go and accomplish those things you want to do. Because the more things that you add to the website is going to eventually slow it down. So if you get a theme that have all the features that you need right out of the box or at least most of it, you're going to be moving in the right direction. The second thing is make sure the theme is mobile responsive and it loads quickly. For example, 82% of all travel bookings in 2018 were made online via mobile app or website and that was without human interaction and that's telling you the power of having your website it's working when you're sleeping but you want to make sure it's going to look great on all types of devices another thing to consider is that google recommends that your page time should load in under two seconds understanding your theme is going to tell you a lot if you're going to be able to meet those kind of recommendations. There's a reason why Google makes this recommendation and it has to do with your conversion. If prospective guests is coming to your website and it's taking too long to load, they're going to try another website. So you want to make sure that your website is going to load fast and a lot of that is going to do with your theme. It's also important that it looks good on all devices. Today, people are using their internet on their desktop, on their tablet, on their mobile device. Not only that, they're also using different browsers. If they're using an iPhone, they're probably going to be using Safari, which represents about 19% of the browsers globally. Of course, you need to make sure it looks good on Chrome because 64% of the person accessing their content is using Chrome browsers. About 4% is using Firefox and then there's a lot of others that are there. So the others might not be as important, but at least these three, you want to make sure that the theme is going to look great on all three of these themes as well as all the other mobile devices that your prospective guest is most likely going to be using. Then you need to ask the question, do the theme include predefined templates or demo content? This is going to save you a bunch of time and money. In addition to that, you get most of the basic layout installed already in minutes. So then all you got to do is jump in, change the text, change the prices for your accommodations, and then change the pictures or add a video as necessary. One of the things to consider with a predefined layout that depending on the theme, they may hire professionals to design the template and the layout. So it may already come with a very intuitive customer layout that is going to save you a lot of time because you're probably not a designer yourself and you want to make sure that you get a layout that's already fit in one of the more modern looking type of websites. So all you then need to do is change the brand elements like the color and fonts and a few pictures, videos and so on. And then you could tweak it a bit so that you make it your own, but you don't have to do it from scratch or go learn coding to get it accomplished. One of the most important thing you want to do when you're reviewing a theme is read the reviews from others who've used this WordPress theme already. And you want to know specifically from the person that have bought it and used it, not just those that are interested in using it, because they're going to be able to tell you about the performance and the experience that they've had using the theme. In addition to that, look at how often the theme is updated. This is going to answer a few questions. Is the theme current? Are they keeping up to date with the trends and the different features that are changing in the market? Is it compatible? WordPress in itself keeps updating. It has different requirements 
as it updates, you want to make sure your theme is staying on top of that as well. In addition to that, making sure that it is secure. The changes that happens on the market, there are always people trying to exploit different vulnerabilities in themes and plugins and so on. So you want to make sure that your theme and those persons behind the theme is actually constantly working to ensure that the theme stays current, secure, and is compatible with the other changes that is taking place in the market. It's a good idea to see the company's response time as well. Now, there's something to take into consideration. If this is a free theme, you may not get as much support as if it's a paid theme. But however, most of the themes that have a paid element behind it, they also have a good support group. A lot of people are using it. So even though you may not get the answer from the actual support theme, because there's a large community of person using the theme, then there's always someone there that could point you in the right direction. And that's important. The other thing is, consider how easy it would be to customize or edit the template yourself. I make an assumption here, you're not a web developer by profession. So you're trying to do this yourself. You might have some experience. You don't want to go about learning to use a new page builder or something totally out of your range. You want to find out, is it easy to use your favorite page builder? You've already spent some time learning how to use Elementor or Divi or Breezy beaver builders or one of the others you want to check to make sure is this compatible with a page builder that you've already accustomed using most importantly just using a theme that you already understand how to use a page builder and it's easy to customize it's just going to save you time and a lot of headache and energy the last thing you want to be doing is spending your time trying to figure out how to move this picture from here to there or how to just change the picture so that it looks just the way you want it to look. It should be easy enough for you to change things without going to learn any new coding skills or anything like that. Now, this is a very short point, but it's a very important point. Will it integrate with your chosen booking plugin? Not every plugin works well with every theme. So you want to make sure that the plugin that you're going to be using to control your booking, or if it's a booking engine that you're using that has a third party integration with WordPress, it's not enough for it just to be integrated with WordPress. You want to make sure it's going to work well with the theme you're going to be using so that it looks seamless and it has a seamless experience for the guests that's going to try to be booking on your website. So now that we've looked at the considerations, what are my top recommendations for themes that I think answers a lot of the considerations we've mentioned before? So let's take a look at them. The first one is the Cadence WordPress theme. Now, this is one of the fastest growing WordPress theme and it comes with a free and paid versions as well. It's also mobile friendly and feature rich right out the box. It has a clean, modern look. It is perfect for any kind of business website, including hotels. One of the things I look for with most themes is one that comes with starter templates. This helps you to save a lot of time. So Cadence is fairly new, so it is still rolling out a lot of their starter templates. But one of the things I found was very useful is this real estate agent template right here. I was able to use this agency template and customize it to fit a nice bed and breakfast or a small boutique hotel. Here is an example of the website that I built using that particular theme. I was able to change the photos. These images here are totally dynamic, so it replaces most of those elements there. But you could then use this section to highlight your services and your guest information. You could use this section to change your reviews and you have a nice section to the top. The Cadence team was able to allow me to build a mega menu and you have most of the features. You have your social icons and so forth right there. The second recommendation is the Astra theme. Now, Astra is an elegant free WordPress theme. It has a paid version, but most of the things you need to do, you could probably do with a free version as well. Astra has been around a long time, so they have over 150 ready-made templates that you could import. But we're here to talk about a hotel or bed and breakfast template. If you go to the starter template website and you simply type in hotel, you will see a few hospitality specific templates like restaurants, bars. For those that have the premium icon next to them, you need to use the paid version. But if you come down, you will notice I actually have a free version that you could use for your boutique hotel or bed and breakfast and so on. And you could see it right here. It's already well laid out. You could use this section to type something about your hotel. You have the different amenities. You could change out the photos that are necessary. You have a section here for making an inquiry. You have a nice gallery section that you could change and update your photos in this section. 
as you scroll down, you, you could include some details about the different packages that you offer and the rooms that persons can book. And then you have a nice booking query right here. Of course, you could link this to a dynamic booking engine. So when someone clicked the button to make a booking, it could go to that booking page where they could choose the details for that booking. Hey, if you're still here, why not click that like button and subscribe so that when I post more content like this, you'll be notified. Let's jump back into the video. So my third recommendation is the Divi theme. Divi is a premium WordPress theme that comes with powerful features such as a parallax and flexible layout. It comes with custom backgrounds, image filters, animation. Divi has unlimited color options to make the site look unique. You could also use the theme for an e-commerce website, a hotel booking website, and it is compatible with some of the top booking plugins. I also like the fact that the theme is search engine optimized, so you will get maximum visibility no matter where you are located in the world. One of the things that you'll notice with Divi is that it has a lot of predefined layouts and demo content. If you search through the listing, you have things like a travel agency template, but more importantly, it has a nice bed and breakfast landing page as well that you could use to customize for your accommodation. Scroll through, there's a nice section where you could write something about the property. It has a nice video layout. You have a gallery section here. When you click on the gallery, it opens up the image in a nice light box. As you scroll down, you, you have a section where you could lay out your rooms and suites with details about the cost, information about the amenities that are offered and a nice little grid listing that you could show more information about each of the accommodations that are offered. As you scroll down, you could include other services, a nice section for testimonials, a listing of amenities, really nice layout. You could see how quickly you could change this, adjust the colors, include your locations and things like that. And you're off to getting more direct bookings and reduce the amount of commissions you're offering to a online travel agency. My fourth recommendation would be the Ocean WP WordPress theme. Ocean WP is a multi-purpose theme that comes with more than a wide range of layout, including templates for your hotels. This is a handy theme that include features like widget layouts. You could also build section on the homepage without having to learn any codes yourself. Now it's really easy to integrate with WooCommerce so that your website could take bookings directly using your favorite payment gateway. It works well with most of the top page builders like Elementor, DV, Breezy, and more. If you go through the list of sample templates that are offered, you will notice it actually includes a nice hotel template. It's well laid out. If you have different locations in different parts of the world, you could actually include that. If not, you could just change these to reflect the places that you do have bookings. If you have different services that are offered, you could change out the images and so forth. Again, it loads this up in a nice large image gallery that you could actually click and see the different images much better. You could use this section to lay out your different rooms and accommodation, a nice section here for your testimonials, and you have a contact us section below. From here, you could connect these rooms to your booking engine so persons could book directly. So last but not least is Motopress Booklium Hotel Themes. One of the things you'll notice about Motopress is that hotel tools are one of the things they specialize in. So what you'll notice, they offer several themes that are specific about hotels. One of my favorites nonetheless is the most recent Booklium theme. It's a paid theme, yes, but it is loaded with features. As you jump into the Booklium theme, as you scroll down, you'll notice it, it comes with five different predefined layout, which is excellent depending on what type of property you have. Do you have multiple villas? Is it a single vacation rental? Maybe it's a hostel that you just want to promote a single property. Maybe it's an apartment or it's a bed and breakfast. You get all these predefined layouts for one fee. The great thing with the Motopress booking plugin is that it works seamlessly with the Motopress hotel booking, which is one of my favorite plugins for booking engine integration. So those were my five considerations and my five recommendations. So hopefully you found something useful in one of those themes that I recommended. Now, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide for how you could build your hotel website from beginning to end, I'm gonna link two videos in the description. One of those videos, I use the Astra theme to build that first website. And the second one, I use the Cadence theme using that same real estate demo content that was provided by Cadence. If you didn't click that like and subscribe button, 
now is the time to do so remember click like you could also click that notification bell so when i post more videos like this you'll be notified i'll see you in the next one